Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'd from some of the treasures and benefits from Allama Muhaddith Al Mujahid Sheikh Nasr al-Din al Albani Rahimahullah Ta'ala as was translated and compiled by our brother Abbas Abu Yahya Hafizullah Ta'ala was a beautiful statement and explanation of a hadith of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam or the hadith of uh, Umar Radiallahu Ta'ala Anhuma regarding not praying the Sunnah prayer directly after the obligatory prayer meaning that right after you pray that you should not hasten to pray your sunnah without making dhikr or without leaving the masjid or what have you so the shaykh mentioned the hadith from Abdullah bin Rabaha from a man who was from the companions of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam had prayed the asr prayer and this man stood up to pray Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhu saw him and said to him sit down since indeed the people of the book were destroyed because they did not leave a gap after their prayer. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said to him, Ahsan Ibn Khattab. You have done well, O Ibn Khattab. And this was collected by uh, Imam Ahmed in its Isnad as Sahih. Shaykh al-Albani Rahimahullah Ta'ala said regarding this hadith, he said this hadith is a clear text in that it is prohibited to hasten to the prayer to pray the sunnah prayer after the obligatory prayer without speaking or leaving the masjid like many of the non-Arabs do and especially the Turks indeed we see them in the Haramain Sh Sharifain meaning masjid, the holy masjid in Mecca and Medina uh, the imam is about to give the salam from the prayer except that these people hasten from over here and over there standing to pray the sunnah so this is an important lesson and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with tawfiq and bless us to follow the sunnah of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive our bad deeds and bless us with ikhlas with the bad ala sunnah wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad.